Okay, question one says, solve this differential equation. Now, that looks like it's in a form where it might be exact. Um, so we should test it. So what exact is when you have, it comes from, you have, if you have f being a constant, then you take its derivative in terms of its exact derivative, so it's like you have like f of x, and then here you have what dx dx, which is just one plus f y d y dx, and because it's derivative of a constant, it's zero. That's the form of an exact equation. So this front first thing is, should be the fx, and the second thing should be the fy. Okay. If that's the case, they should both they should integrate to the same thing. So the uh, integral in terms of x of this first bit is going to be what? It's going to be x cubed y squared plus 3x to the 4 minus 2xy cubed. That's perfect. And the second one, the second part of it, that integral of that in terms of y is going to be um, x cubed y squared that looks good, plus, now we have y cubed, so 2xy cubed, ah, uh, oh, minus x cubed, few. that looks good. We're just missing the 3x to the 4 bit, that, that's all right, is that all right? Because that can come, so I'm saying that it looks like f equals that, Oh, plus a constant, because when you integrate, you get a constant, of course, plus a constant, or f equals that, plus a constant. Uh, the constants can have, the constant in the first bit can have, can have y's in it, because they integrate in terms of x, the constant second can have x's in it, because they integrate in terms of y, so we're allowed to have this 3x to the 4. Let's see, okay. So, it looks like that f, yeah, that f is equal to a constant. This will be the solution. Okay, so let's just do that neatly. Oh, no, oh will, will we ever solve that in terms of y? Um, no, that doesn't look nice to solve in terms of y. You'd have to, you have a y squared and a y cubed. Yeah, that's a, a cubic to solve in terms of y, so we'll just leave it as an implicit equation. Okay, so we're saying that f is then, so fx is 3x squared y. So fx is 3x squared y squared, 12, plus 12x cubed minus 2y cubed. Okay. So that means, oh, that f is, sort of that, I might want to do it again for checking purposes. So integral is going to be x squared y cubed plus Oh, it's integrating in terms of x, sorry. So x cubed y squared plus 3x to the 4 minus 2xy cubed plus the sum function of x. 
of y, sorry. And we also have fy equals um, what? Two x two x cubed y, two x cubed y minus six x y squared, six x y squared, and so that means that f also equals now integrating in terms of y, so we have x cubed y squared, and we have minus 2xy cubed and then plus some function of x. Okay, so all this means then equating the gx, equating the, those two things, you'd get x cubed y squared minus 2xy cubed plus 3x to the 4. Um, and if that equals c, that's the solution. So that's the thing that differentiates here. So, so this implicitly defines the solution to that equation. And that's all.